Okay, we're back again with the meteors, these tiny flashes of light, uh, sometimes called shooting stars. It's the famous Perseid meteor shower. Happens every single year, so don't miss it. This year's extra special. Normally the moon goes through its phases, doesn't it? Sort of goes big and round, and we call that full moon. That's when actually astronomers are not very happy because that light pollution from our celestial neighbor it washes out the rather fainter meteors, so you don't always see all of them. Now this year we've got a, 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 a waxing crescent moon which will set in the late latter part of the evening, which will allow you to see the meteors more easily. Now, the meteors can be seen really in any part of the sky. They're called the Perseids because that's the part of the sky or the constellation from which they appear to emanate. And they spread out in all directions, flashing hither and thither. And the best place to see them is probably about 45 degrees up and uh, really facing south, I suppose. But you could actually face in any direction. Just don't keep moving around. Nice, comfortable chair. That's number one. Number two, something to wear, especially a hat, perhaps. I know it's sort of summer, but in the late evenings, it can get quite cool. Maybe a warm drink and keep it in a flask. You don't have to go back indoors, otherwise you, you ruin your dark adaption, especially if you're on a really dark site. A red torch always helps because that doesn't spoil your dark adaption. And some kind of timing device. You want to know when they happen and, and in what direction. So try and make as many notes as you can, if you want to do it properly, that is. You could always just sit out there and watch them. Uh, now, these tiny streaks of light are caused by millimetre-sized grains of dust that have been left behind by a comet by the name of P109 Swift Tuttle, which takes about 133 years to orbit the Sun. So I'm hoping that uh, Monday and Tuesday, that's the 12th and the 13th of August this year, is going to be really spectacular, not only for astronomers, but maybe for you as well. You really enjoy it.